Welcome back. This is uh, what I call Detroit 25 Active. Detroit 25 Active is the not the 40 uh, team, but the 25 people on the 25 roster in baseball. And this start here with Hernan Perez carried the Tigers to victory with one home run and one RBI in today's 4-1 win over the Athletics is very important because Perez going yard was great, and he uh, helped that and helped the uh, Tigers go on. But that. The issue is what happens in a long road trip, and uh, it is a situation that's facing the Tigers uh, today, and that means, I'm trying to think which is here, uh, I wanted them to have that type of video, that's a pretty long one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 games in a row, yeah. So with that 13 games in a row, you have to really, really, really work your uh, dugout so that you can sure victory on long road trip weeks and home stands. Uh, some guys are going to be tired. That's your uh, dugout right there. And that's your starters here. Uh, keep in mind there's 25 of them there. And there's 25 starters, and there's the dugout. We need a baseball field real quick. It's a fun team. It's got a lot of interesting quirks to it, and a lot of things that can be answered. But uh, with your startups, there's a lineup. Now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine people. I think that means. Uh, here is the pitcher. Uh, that's the starters of your pitching type thing. Let's go ahead and do that here. And that's the bullpen. And part of the bullpen, which is a closer, that's here too. Uh, the pitchers are out in the field, but they don't, in the American League, they do not come up to bat for themselves. Somebody else uh, stands in proxy for them. Uh, so that's called the designated hitter. And that's, uh, and the pitchers work the mound themselves. Um, Justin Verlander. And. Uh, Max Scherzer and uh, let's see here Annabelle Sanchez and Drew Smiley although I think on their team uh, it's in the closeout of Rick Porcello and Rick might pitch fourth on their team uh, he's, he's fairly he's very good I know a lot of people say the Fister one was the thing that, uh, that's Fister's spot here, is the one that was difficult with Doug Fister going to uh, the Nationals. Verlander, that's 222 strikeouts last season in real life, 240 for Shrezer and the Cy Young winner, and award winner for pitching there. Sanchez, 208. So those are their strikeouts here uh, last season in real life, along with the starters in the bullpen getting 14.08, 14.28 strikeouts, uh, team record during one season. 1,428 strikeouts. So with the Fister uh, in Drew Smiley's position, that Sanchez, Shrezer, and Verlander with 222, 240, and 208 strikeouts, uh, they're doing okay. They're doing okay. That's uh, the bullpen here. Phil Koch and Al Albuquerque. And I'm thinking and people here are going to be like, well, uh, Fister's name matters type thing. And the Verlander, Treasurer, and Sanchez doing what they're doing. I can't sense that they're not losing that type thing. But once you see this on paper in the video, I think that'll make more sense because that's at least 600 strikeouts by the top three right there. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what, what's picturing in their head, but that's that's a pretty good trio of, of, of pitching. Yeah. Uh, Phil Coke, Al Albuquerque, uh, Java Chamberlain came over. Yeah. And let's see here. Thank you. Java Drew's in the starting rotation for Fister. Phil's there. I'm trying to think who they brought up. 
And when your starters get tired and can only do six or seven innings after doing a 162-game baseball season, then it matters what's in your bullpen to finish out the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning for him. Java Al Phil. Mine is uh, not Ian Kroll. Is Evan Reed. And is that it? I might only have ten pitchers right now between the starters and the bullpen. And the closer is Joe Nathan. Okay. Uh, I just got some of the triple A back from their play or triple A from their season. Yeah. Uh, I'm still working on the double A in, in real life, but that's one Verlander, Shrezer, Sanchez, Drew Smiley, Porcello. That's one, two, three, four, five. Phil Coke is six. Al is seven. Java Chamberlain is eight. Evan Reed is nine. And Joe Nathan is ten. So that's ten out of twenty-five people right there for your fatigue backup type thing. So for like Verlander, Shrezer, Sanchez, Smiley, and Porcello, those guys are your starters. And if they get tired, your bench for those guys is in the dugout is Phil Coke, Al Albuquerque, Jabba Chamberlain, and Evan Reed, which is your bullpen. Now you gotta do, this is starters and this is your bullpen, but this actually happens for your main lineup. Yeah. Oh. And that's a very confusing concept. Here, at uh, second base is Ian Kinsler. Yeah. I should have started with Miggy. That's Ian Kinsler here, but his backup behind him, and not at first, is uh, Hernan Perez. So when you're on the road and Ian's getting tired type thing, his bullpen backup out in the field for fielding type thing is Hernan Perez for Ian Kinzer. So that's that's his in the dugout for a second baseman is Hernan Perez. And that was really complicated type thing and it, it's not. It really isn't. Um, here uh, leading off is Raji Davis. His backup is here is Left field is Tyler Collins. Then in center field, that's Austin Jackson. That's here. And that's here. Now the backups don't come in until they're needed for sub and they're going to be on the 25 roster. And that's Austin Jackson, his backup in center field. Uh, here is Don Kelly. Yeah. Really, really complicated. And then from there, that's uh, left field, we need right field backup. And I have a backup for every person in the outfield. That's left field, that's center field, that's right field. This is Tori Hunter here. And Tori usually goes six for me. And that's Raji Davis. They're in a part of the mining lineup. And that's his backup is Julio Dan Martinez. Or JD Martinez. And sounds like Victor Martinez. Uh, but they're two different people. Yes. Uh, let's see, I'm going to put the pitcher here. And. Let's go here. First base, of course, is Miggy, Miguel Cabrera. And his backup is Victor Martinez, who sometimes plays first. It's been a long time, though. Catcher is Alex Avila. His backup is Brian Holiday, over from the Doug Fister trade. And let's see here. That's catcher. That's Brian Holiday. And Alex Avla, that's eight for me. It's 240 average, but he's an interesting pop in the bottom of the lineup because of his average. He's not consistent enough to be near the 345. Uh, Raji is a speed guy. Um, 42 stolen bases, 50 at a high point. 
Kinsler is the speed guy. He's had 30 stolen bases as a high point in a single season. Austin has had like 8 to 15 stolen bases in a single season. All these guys have decent contact. Then Cambrera is not speed. He's power. And he's had, he had 43 home runs last year. And then Victor Martinez, the DH from the pitcher, he goes there. Victor hit 378 in real life June. Yeah. And, or July, I think it was June. Tory Hunter, nine time gold glove winner. And, uh, Tory hit for Minnesota, the Angels, and now for Detroit. And he's pretty good. Yeah. Now, I, I would lead off with him, but one versus six. Raji is technically faster with his 42 stolen bases than Tory Hunter is. Yeah. So, in real life, Raji hits ninth because of his average, but in mine, he hits with uh, Roddy Davis, hits with Kinsler and Jackson, and the speed of the stolen bases right here at the top three, 42, 30, and eight stolen bases, like 15 with Austin Jackson in a center field thing. They're all right next to each other type thing, one, two, and three in the batting lineup. I try to keep explaining that to, to other videos, but visually, I don't think it's working out anywhere. But I like to not see speed broken up and crumbled gingerbread across the different spots in the lineup like some at the top some in the middle and some at the bottom I squinch them all together put all the speed people at the top and then let Miggy you can either deal with the speed on the base and throw a wild pitch or something like that or you can throw a bad pitch to Miggy while he's up the plate with the speed people on base and let him drive them in it's like your your choice type thing that that type of sense give up the home run to Cabrera up at the plate or just you know throw a wild pitch and let one of the runs score or something of that nature <laughs> while checking on the speed or trying to keep tap on the speed Mickey's probably gonna get a poke I know he's got 43 home runs but he also has a 343 average that's even higher than each row single con continuous type thing that is not common for a power hitter uh, he will poke it to bring in the runs in front of him uh, something definitely lost in M Mickey's capability it's overlooked and with the three people on base in front of him, that's at least three runs. Now that's one at bat type thing. A game usually has three to four at bats for a lineup, which means the top of that lineup is going to happen like three times. So it's, it's very dangerous. Um, and I like that. Now in the bottom of the lineup, it starts with Tory. Tory doesn't have 42 stolen bases. Yeah. Yeah, he's, so, it's, yeah, he's not like Roger Davis. And that's Tori. Seven is my shortstop. I'm going to probably switch back to Romine uh, because he did come up with another home run for me today in this 4 and 1 game. He did a nice job uh, doing so, and he's got three home runs in his last bench starts. Yes. So I'm going to go back to him. Shortstop here is uh, Eugenio Suarez, is the backup shortstop for. Detroit there yeah. so it's a pretty great lineup it's very consistent it's got the 70 80 stolen bases uh, at the top of the lineup in the single season yeah. <sighs> but followed up by Miguel Cabrera with a 343 43 home run average and then Victor Martinez with a 378 in June and then Tory Hunter with this consistency of history of hitting I'm not sure if Torrey's up to Pete Rose level of singles or hits, but he's probably over the 1,500 hits in his career. And, if not 2,000. With his defense, nine gold gloves. Yeah. And, he's, Torrey's pretty choice. And he's great locker room presence. Uh, sounds very complicated, and it is. That, the first four, one, two, three, four, Five, six is really no one's prerogative to want to play a 162 game season uh, with this type of lineup. I don't think it's that bad, but uh, I'm not sure if it's definitive enough to want to play to say why I play with Detroit. For me, I think it is, <laughs> but um, I keep putting games up there with their results. But uh, it's just, it's just not. I don't know. Having a lineup that starts with Raji Davis, that goes to Ian Kinsler, that goes to Austin Jackson, that goes to Miguel Cabrera, that goes to Victor Martinez, that goes to Tory Hunter, really isn't that bad of a lineup. Yeah, that's not bad choosing. 
It's a great job there. Now you're finally in the bottom of the lineup. Andrew Romine comes up. If Torrey gets on with a single, Romine is actually like a National League bunner, and he'll get Torrey with a second. Then after that, it's in the bottom of the lineup here in the 6, 7, 8, and 9. It's just up to Avila or Nick Castellanos to hit uh, a single, and Torrey can score if it's deep enough of a slow, deep single type thing in that type of sense in the outfield. Then Torrey can score from second, come around third, and just score in. It's another run. And then uh, after Castellanos, Raji Davis, Kinsler, Jackson, and Cabrera come back up again for their at bats. So Nick Castellanos is here. And Victor also plays third. But now I've been using what my new roster, I've been using Danny Worth to back him up too. Worth actually has some like third base career stuff in there. So uh, Nick's also got a backup. The whole infield has got a backup for that 13 game road trip, taking that type of sense. Around the sixth, seventh, eighth, or ninth game, the main starters are going to want to go off. And then you're going to have to switch to Hernan Perez, Tyler Collins, Don Kelly, JD Martinez, Brian Holiday, and Eugenio Suarez with uh, Danny Worth. To try to carry the load in your your team B days, and then you can go back to Roddy Davis, Ian Kinsler, Austin Jackson, Miguel Cabrera, Victor Martinez, Tori Hunter, uh, Andrew Romine, Alex Avila, and Nick Castellanos. Yeah. Okay, now counting up the starters. That's a nine order lineup type thing. So there's nine: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The starters with Verlander. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 with the closer. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Yeah. So that is, uh, let me make sure here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So it's 25 uh, players. It's 25 players. They are 25 players which who are active or whom are active. Yeah. And they play for Detroit. The Detroit Tigers. Detroit 25 active. Yeah. So thanks again for listening to me. And uh, Detroit 25 active uh, bio on all the players. And uh, please feel free to look through the rest of my videos and find the rest of the Detroit 25 active bio player videos that I put up. I've got some up for the pitchers doing striking out the side. I've got uh, Tori up hitting a home run like the natural in, in Cleveland and with the clock at 7.15. I've got Miguel Cabrera up there. Uh, got a lot of uh, players up on the Ian Kinsler with his grand slam at the Detroit 25 active. Um, Please feel free to look through my channel and, and watch those videos. Uh, thanks a lot for all, all the, the help uh, or all the views. Yeah. And have a great one out there. Uh, this is Chad Brown and also with the dimming, uh, Sage Block 9, some statistics in the coverage of the character. Uh, please <laughs> have an awesome day.